All right, what's up? It's Chaz with Local Landscapers. We are replacing three neighbors of uh, seawalls here. And I'm gonna give you a shot of what it looks like before we get started. Um, okay. See the fish. But anyways, uh, so we're gonna be starting at this neighbor's wall, um, getting all this. We have a dock here. We have a mess over here as well. Um, and then we're going to be going to the other side of this boathouse. Uh, so this whole cove is is a mess. Um, this dock right here, we're going to be taking out some of these sections of docks. Like, as you can see, it's not even touching. It's not touching the water anymore. Um, and then this is just complete failure. Uh, as far as the dead man, I don't... Let's see how long this thing is. It's probably like a two foot long piece of wood that's holding this, I don't know, four foot tall wall. Um, so obviously that's not going to work. And obviously it didn't. So we're going to be building our wall basically straight across right here. So we're going to be removing all this, backfilling it. So it'll be lawn in this area instead. And uh, same thing again, a bunch of failure going on back here. I think this section of wood wall was actually replaced within like 10 years ago. Um, and what happened was the uh, the tiebacks have rusted and the wall has fallen forward. So, yep, it's like a quarter inch cable, completely snapped. So there's actually a dead man back here somewhere. Um, but since those didn't hold up, the wall fell forward and game over. Another thing I would not recommend is building your dock on your old seawall. So now we have a situation where we're actually gonna be building our seawall. We're gonna rip all this out and then we're gonna to have to leave this section of seawall and build right behind it. And uh, what we'll do is we'll nail to the back of the seawall and uh, that way when they need to replace the dock or whatever they do with the dock, they can just pry the boards off of our seawall and then tear it out. So, and then we're gonna, we're gonna remove this little, this little triangle right here. And then we're gonna to go to this neighbor's seawall. So it's quite a project. I'm gonna get some bore four shots and uh, go ahead and get started on getting all this removed. And they're getting vinyl and all that um, out here. But yeah, so this cove is gonna look a lot different when we're done. A whole lot different, a whole lot better. So we got one neighbor right here, two, and then this is the three. So all three neighbors join together and uh, it makes it real nice and easy and actually save some money when they're doing this because we only have to stage once and clean up once for all three projects. So let's get started.
got the old boat dock ripped out. Kind of reshaping the shoreline. Getting it ready for the vinyl wall.
snapping turtle in there. At this vinyl wall, we got a back drill through this corner, a gravel in, and a fill dirt put in through there, and then got our tie back coming through. Add to these. All right, so it is now October. So a lot of time has passed. I think we did that one in around June, July. It was July actually, July of this year. So we're here a few months later. Um, the, the homeowners have since resurfaced and connected the docks, got them all going. The posts are now touching the water or the ground. So that's a really big plus, uh, but it's nice and cleaned up in here. Uh, really opened up the cove. The lake is a little low. Uh, our power plant goes on outage. It's a nuclear power plant, which cools this lake. Uh, so this side is actually about a foot lower. You can kind of see the water level line right there. And then this homeowner built a little boardwalk here and then resurfaced this dock and removed the other section there. So it turned out really nice. You can see we built the wall behind this dock uh, because this dock was actually built on the existing seawall. So we just left that in place so we didn't have to mess with any dock and just built ours right behind it. But yeah, turned out really nice. Um, we have like a plank finish for the top. So it's about 15 inches wide. Um, comfortable enough to walk on. It's wider than a normal like wooden seawall that would have a two by 12. Um, and they're secured with, you know, hidden screws at an angle. So when you're walking on it, you won't put your foot on a screw or anything like that. It's really nice, really safe because typically these are barefoot situations. So you wanna, we try to make sure we don't have any screws or anything that can catch. And then, right here. So it turned out really nice. It's looking good. It looks like the homeowners just spread some more straw uh, not too long ago. Trying to get this grass to establish. We, we planted in, in July, so not a really great time to plant fescue. But yeah, if you have any questions or anything, just drop them in the comments. Um, in the comments, just let us know what you think. But yeah, cool. Thanks for watching.